with a really a good group returning and a great group of freshmen coming in, uh, you know, I was really fired up and excited about the potential of the season. I'm really proud of the girls how, you know, they stuck together, you know, through the hard times. I'm just proud of how we came together as a team and we made it to the Elite Eight. This is a team that wants to change the, this program. They want to win a national championship. They're certainly playing like they're on their way there. Well, it was very, very difficult for me this year, uh, missing the whole uh, basketball season. We took her situation and used it as motivation. You still got to keep fighting, and I think like that was a big message for all of us, and we brought that into our season. You, you can't not be inspired by Coach Ashley. Like, even if she's not there, it's just the fact that you know that she's so passionate about basketball and about us. I want you to let them know how much you love them, because enthusiasm is contagious. As the season went on, I feel like everybody started learning what their role actually was on the team. The growth in the freshman and sophomore class was big. They had to have a good game in order for us to win. Diamond broke records. Alicia stepped up and played pretty good. I mean, that's where you saw the maturity level, them taking on that role. North Carolina freshmen account for 59% of their scoring. That's the most in the country. Carolina just one of its last 10 from the floor. Fourth tie of the second half, 71 all. Michael Thompson. One second to go. But it's not enough. North Carolina losing consecutive home games, 83-80. After we went on the little losing streak that we did go on, we came together as a team and was like, we have to do better. We're just going to move forward with this. I mean, it's a loss, but we're going to learn from it and come back harder next game. The way the girls responded was amazing. Number three, Duke gets set to take on number 17, North Carolina. Tanya is off to a terrific start. She'll try for three, and she's got it. And the young turn heels are growing up. They I think that was a turning point and from then. I mean, they was just going up the ladder. <laughs> that ends a seven-game winning streak for the Blue Devils in this series. Well, that was a phenomenal experience, and um, that was one of my favorite games this season. There's no greater feeling than silence in the crowd, like, at their home. We made a statement, and there's just a whole, like, change in attitude. Alicia Gray hits the triple. Carolina escapes with a three-point win, setting up a prime-time matchup with Duke. It showed them and gave them the confidence to, you know what, we're going to be special by the end of the year. Next year it will be too late. Like, we want it now. Like, the Ghosts get in Nashville Final Four. Make it a 12 0 run for North Carolina. North Carolina will advance to the Sweet 16 for the first time since 2011. I just thought of the Carolina performance that we're all very proud of and want to take to the next game. There's Mofunga in the lane. Triple team still got it off the window of the lane. It'll be Stanford and North Carolina for the right to go to the Final Four. And you know, it was tough games along the way. A lot of people doubted us, and we just made it through adversity because we stuck together. A deep three by Gray. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't get to the Final Four. That was one of our goals, but we did exceed all expectations. And Stanford closes out North Carolina. Just want to tell you how proud I am of you. You guys are, are champions, and what you got to do is use it as motivation. You know, I know they're going to be really, really fired up, and they really are going to want to do even bigger and better things than what they did this year. Nobody's going to outwork us. We're going to work hard every day, push every day. We got the taste of it now. We want the whole thing. I feel like there's no reason why we shouldn't be there. We want to put another band in the gym, and I don't see why we can't do it with the talent that we have. We're just getting ready to prepare for something special next year. Mark my words. <laughs>